Hi, I'm Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. I, uh, today's the 28th, uh, Thursday. I just got this correspondence right here. Um, it was sent to me from the signature on here is Bill Schutte, the Attorney General. And this is a preliminary injunction against my farm from the Attorney General's office to shut my my operation down. There's the there's a signature block on there. It's Bill Shooty. Alright, and it was sent to me, Mark Baker. Alright, um, what they wanted me to do was send them a letter by Monday, the 25th, and promise them that I wouldn't breed my animals anymore and promise them that I wouldn't sell my animals anymore. So it's more of the same thing. They all they always want you to do it with, you know. They want your hand involved. They they want me to shoot my pigs. They want me to not breed my pigs. That's what you do. Is you you breed pigs if you want to make money. They want me to not sell my animals, right? And then they go to. This is sent to my judge, my county judge here. I, I I'm not going to mention his name. Um. I know him, and he's, you know, he's an elected official here in Misaki County. He's a good guy, so I'm just not going to mention his name. I don't want anybody giving the judge any grief because it's not his thing. But the attorney general's office has gone to my judge, and they're trying to twist his arm to sign this injunction to shut me down. I don't know. I, I just have a real hard time with that now. The Attorney General's office is doing the bidding of the DNR here. The DNR has put them in a terrible position, and I, I, I don't see why they would take it up. Um, they, they should be looking at this, reading this, actually, and saying, we cannot do this to our citizens. That, that is what they are there for, the Attorney General, is, to, is there to make sure things are done constitutionally and, and correctly, too. Um, but. We are talking about a declaratory ruling here that, that lists nine characteristics and that if my pigs have even one of those characteristics, then they say, the DNR does, that my pigs are feral, right? Now let me just edify you guys if you're just coming into this. A feral pig or a feral animal is an animal that was once domesticated, these are domesticated, and either escaped or was abandoned and then had to rewild itself in order to survive. And then they breed and uh, their babies are born, you can't call them wild because it was a domestic animal and there are no native uh, swine to North America so you can't call them wild so you call them feral. But if your pigs are behind fences this is defined as domestic hog production and in the declaratory ruling it states domestic hog production is exempt from the declaratory ruling. So why we're having to go to court with this, I really don't know. I think the English language works fine, but uh, they don't see it that way. So they're saying that because, yes, your pigs are behind fences, but because they have a straight tail or a curly tail, that they're feral. Huh. And remember number nine, they want to forget it, but I don't want them to forget it. They wrote in the declaratory ruling, other characteristics not currently known to the DNR. Now that should be a, a little bit of a red flag for the uh, Attorney General's office. I think they're pretty smart people over there. But uh, apparently somebody's uh, stoking them. You know? All right, well, uh, this is where we're at. We are just in a holding pattern right now. We're waiting for our court date. Um, I want to go into something else. Uh, this, I mean, I think you people realize at this point, this is definitely the hand of big ag. This is definitely the hand of industrial ag forcing these people to do this, all right? Um, as farmers, and I consider a lot of you farmers now, even though you may not actually farm like we do, you do some of the functions we do, you are a farmer. Um, it is 
apparent to me at this point that those rights that you have to grow a few tomatoes, grow a few pigs, keep some chickens in the yard, whatever you want to do, or you can have an 80 acre spread and you can really live it up. Your rights to do that are under attack. And that really is what this is all about. Now, if the DNR had come out and said, all pigs are illegal, there would be an uproar, but they don't do that. They come out and they say, some pigs are illegal. Pigs with curly tails, pigs with floppy ears, like that. So they're not gonna irritate all of us out here, right? Only some of us, and they can handle that. This argument is very similar to some of the things that I hear right now coming out of, say, New York State. They're not coming out and saying, you no longer have your Second Amendment rights. They're saying, you, can't, you can have guns, but w not guns with certain phenotypical characteristics, like a bayonet lug, or a 30-round magazine, or a pistol grip, or a retractable stock, or a collapsible stock. The gun still shoots the same bullet, same velocity, same distance. You know, if you want to try and make guns illegal, why don't you just go for it? Why don't you just try that? I guess I would say the same, same thing with, to the DNR. If you want to do the bidding of industrial uh, ag here in Michigan, why don't you just come out and say it? Why don't you show some for a change? Just come right out and say it. You want to put family farms out of business. All right? It would make sense, you know, that you have a lot more uh, market share for your CAFOs and all the, the wonderful things that they do for our environment and the, the health of our citizens. Why not? Why don't you just come out and say it? All right, um, we have about nine days left on our Indiegogo, and our program, Anyone Can Farm, that's on a positive note, is about growing farmers. It's about sh passing on what we have learned to do here on Baker's Green Acres to more people throughout the United States so then they can do what we do. And our intention is to have an Anyone Can Farm chapter in every state in the union, and we... Uh, we plan to do that. We've had very significant donations. Uh, we, as we speak, we are working on our dormitory. We have people lined up for our classes, and we are very encouraged by the turnout that um, that we've gotten and the inquiries that we've gotten. We have nine days left. We we wanted to raise seventy-five grand to put it into infrastructure and uh, and really do the first year right. Rat ten. That's great. That paid for all the floors, all the window coverings. Uh, it's going to pay for a lot of the bunk beds. But this is a way to turn this around. Industrial ag controls the majority of the calories that are available for you guys to eat. Need I say more? You really need to start growing some calories for yourself. You really need to do that. I mean, it should be a, a high priority in your life. You see what our farm is going through, and there are several other farms throughout the United States are going through. These guys are absolutely ruthless, and they will use government agencies to get their way. Um, but they, they really can't control all of us. They can take me out any time, but my words need to continue on. And take these YouTubes and then lock them away someplace so they can't, they can't do away with them forever. Um, this is a resistance movement, uh, our right to exist, our right to grow our own food and eat what we please if we want to grow raw, raw milk. I mean, if we want to drink raw milk, it's, it's our business, you know. Want to eat roadkill? That's my business, and I don't need some government person um, who produces nothing. You know, that's the thing about these guys. They think they, think they have all the authority. They produce nothing, right? And they want to tell us, the farmers of this country, the backbone of America, how to live. It, it kills me that we even give them audience at this point. Um, anyway, I want to encourage America. I want to encourage America to get behind me, firmly behind me, and show them. You will not tread on us. And you can do that by going to my website, making comments, get yourself involved about some of these food issues. Please, I need donations to our Legal Defense Fund. Um, it is very expensive. You've been very faithful, and, and I'm really proud of America right now. I am uh, 
not proud of my government at this point. I am not proud of them. Um, they don't want to be accountable, and it's because they know that they are doing things that are not right. They're just doing what they're told. But, you know, I've got to say to you guys, I know you listen to everything that I say because the 54 pages here, uh, over half of it is taken directly off my website. It's got pictures of me, my family, uh, my animals, uh, cute little stories about things that happen here on the farm, you know. I, we're just hard-working people trying to make a living. So I know you watch me, and uh, there's something you ought to check into, and that was the Nuremberg Trials. There was lots and lots of folks that said, I was just doing my job. What you're doing right now does not bode well with the American public. And it can, it can come around on you. You know, we're going into some tough times. Everybody knows it. Government that makes life hard on its citizens, you know, you're, there are repercussions to that. There are repercussions, legal repercussions. Um, and we vote, too. We vote. So you need to think about that. This could be turned around, and we could go back to uh, productive uh, American lifestyle. Words. Okay, this is Mark from Baker's Green Acres. Remember, please go to our Indiegogo site. We need those donations big time in these last nine or ten days, and uh, please help with our Legal Defense Fund. Thanks, and uh, I'll be talking to you soon.